fondest memories, um, Mama and Papa? I do not think that community theater is, is amateurish um, on a whole, and I think it is fully capable of, of, uh, of really professional level performances. And in fact, that reminds me, that is my favorite memory of the Drama League, is coming to see a show that is so good, it just makes me weep. I'm going, I'm weeping now. But no, when I when I really see when I see a show where where the cast and the whole production is just spot on, it, it just it tugs at my heart. It just makes me so happy. Working hard and partying hard too, because we always have some pretty good parties. Parties. The first time I gave a party that I didn't know I was going to give, when a friend of mine stood up and announced the party was at my house that night. So that, fortunately, I had a lot of snacks. One of the most amazing was um, the highly unexpected presentation of the Judge Brammer Award. I had always considered it a lifetime achievement kind of thing. I was doing food for the end of season party and just kind of running around and doing this and that and I kind of heard out of the side of my ear, you know, he's describing this person which had made this significant contribution and pitched in wherever needed and all this stuff and I was like, oh, that's really awesome. So I'm just like putting food out and stuff and then he starts telling the story of when he and I were on the roof cleaning out the gutter thing that was clogged and creating a flood and you know how this person had you know against his better judgment you know slid on the ice out and just gotten this sludge and thrown it down and said something about moms will touch things that would gag the rotor rooter man and I was like oh my gosh that's just Foxworthy he's talking about me and then he just called me up on stage and everybody just applause is the way people thank people in theater and there was just so much love in that room and I just lost it and um, told everybody thank you for giving me and my kids and all the kids I work with and all the adults I work with a place to grow. And I know when Bob and I got together, he said, so many women come here looking for a man and then they want to take him away from the theater. Well, I thought, well, I'm not going to do that because I'm staying too. And we were here for, together for 27 years. So I didn't find a man and take him away from the theater. I stayed. Bob Withers, when he did, um, he did on Byra Time with my brother Doug, and that show was also a really, really, really good show. I wish everybody could go back and see them. You know, I wish they had, they didn't have video. I mean, Pop did movie camera things, but there's no sound. Um, and I don't think he did anything out of the plays, but these plays were awesome. I mean, these people were really, it was beautiful to watch. Time for Bob when we felt a great success. Uh, Bob directed um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest the first time it was done. And, um, it was a difficult show to put together because of all the ensemble work. And he was very discouraged. And he didn't come to opening night in time to be here before. And I guess uh, he came in just as the, uh, the uh, audience doors opened at the end of intermission. And you could feel the energy and the success of the show. As he came this way, the energy just met him at the door. And he said, what happened? I said, I don't know, but you've got a miracle. And it was a wonderful show. We just did it this past year. I staged a reunion of the cast that was in the show 32 years ago with the cast here. We had a party. We had a wonderful time. And I hope Bob was watching. The other thing that's fun about community theater is that not only are there live people up, up on stage, but quite often they are your friends, your co-workers, your spouse, you know, they're people you know, and, uh, you know, so that just adds an extra, extra layer of fun to it. I got involved with the community theater because I do my acting, my directing, my singing for the love of it. I'm here because I want to share the gifts I've been given and I want to help cultivate the gifts that others have been given and work together to make something pretty incredible. I would like people to just continue to support community theater, to recognize that it's a, you know, it's, it's very, uh, it's excellent entertainment at a reasonable price. Um, and if we can get the audiences, you know, we'll be here for another 75. And I just hope the people uh, 
people watching this video recognize that there is something special about live theater. We're doing it. It's almost, and, and I'm going to steal a quote, it's the purest form of theater because everyone is here because they want to do it. This building and these people have kept up with the changing times of the world, of theater, um, of the requirements of an audience, but they have never lost that sense of community. My thoughts about the Drama League is that it's been here for longer than 75 years. It feels like it's been around for a lot longer. The first 75 seasons of the Drama League has offered everything from the classics to newer, more um, eclectic theater, but we do offer something for everybody. It seems like it's always been here, and it seems like uh, that, that, that 75 years has, has elapsed like, like that, and, and uh, it's, it's the timeless nature of the thing that 75 years doesn't even matter. It could be 100 years or it could have only been 25. It's just a very special environment that um, has grown over time. People come in and, and come out, and um, the, the, the renewal of people is what makes it a vibrant thing. That we have another 75 ahead of us, that uh, we can build on the tradition that we have and the strengths that we have, and this place will go on. Wow, we lasted 75 years. We must be doing something right. In 75 years, I would like the Drama League to uh, maybe have a second performance space. That's been one of the, uh, the big uh, you know, dreams of um, having sort of a second stage where we could do more experimental stuff. In 75 years, I'd like to see us you know, maybe becoming uh, a real mecca for uh, original plays and, and, and emerging playwrights. Community theater isn't a real venue for uh cutting edge kind of theater, but every now and again I'd like to see the Drama League push the envelope a little bit and, uh, and challenge the community to, uh, to think once in a while. I would like to, the Drama League to maintain its status as a wonderful, supportive, family feeling for everyone involved, um, to produce the best work that we know how to produce with the most talented people I've ever met and to keep the education of its youth growing, to keep the enthusiasm for the Wilmington Drama League alive, because it is very well alive and kicking, and we want to keep it that way. We do not continue to, to, um, to educate young people um, with their enthusiasm and, and fresh look on you know, theater. Then everybody will go away to a better place, and you know, no one will take over. It's hard to say what it would be like because uh, had you asked me that question 25 years ago or 30 years ago when I started, uh, I probably wouldn't have imagined the changes that have taken place in, in those 30 years.